What's up guys? We're out here at the park hitting a quick little run. Nothing too crazy, just around the block a couple times. I honestly don't go out on a whole lot of runs, not a huge fan personally, but I just woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? The weather's nice. Let's get a quick little jog in. Come along. Alright guys, I'm going to let you in on one of my training secrets. If you're looking for that slight edge, a little extra explosion, well, look no further than this. 32 grams of protein in this. Honestly, if you're not using this, you're really missing out. What are you even doing? Oh my god. It's just the best thing. Seriously. Alright guys, just finished up editing last week's video. If you guys haven't seen it yet, five easy moves every white belt should know. You definitely want to check it out. It's got some good tips in there. Obviously, you guys read the title. Today is Nogi Day, fun stuff. Actually, the first six months that I was training, it was basically all Nogi. Don't get me wrong, the Gi's fun too, but I just like the explosiveness and all the scrambles and the wrestling that you get whenever you hit Nogi. And I always believe that you should have at least one thing that you're working on whenever you go to the gym. So for example, today I want to work on some single legs and I also want to work on popping up from setup guard. Those are going to be my two focuses tonight. I'm about to upload this video. Afterwards, we're going to hit the road and get some jujitsu in. on bottom is strictly survival mode for me in, in a lot of ways. Staying on the inside. And what I mean by the inside is people go, I'll play half guard and they're way up here. If you're the guy on bottom and you don't want these movements to be done to you, you need to get your underhook and you need to get your head in their hip. I need to be tight to the hip. I need to be tight. To, you can go underneath, you can go underneath. It's fine. But the big thing the leverage comes from is my head. So that's why I hide my head. And then for me, to add more leverage for myself, I, I do the step over and I pull his foot, breaking the hip down. Those are two options. I agree that you can do a lot more stuff in there, but those are the two concepts I think. Just hit it. Ready, one, two, three. My first match was with my friend Jamie. He used to fight for a local MMA promotion, but had to retire as he had a several year battle with cancer. The fact that he won that battle and is now back to training, I find inspiring. Here I set up from Butterfly Guard for a quick takedown. He tries to off balance my weight with his butterfly hook, but I'm able to redirect his hips passing into dope mount. From here, I step over to full mount. Right here, he tries to frame on my hip, but I use my body weight to redirect his elbow, putting him in the gift wrap and setting in to take his back. And right here, I use a deep grip we've been working on in class to get the rear naked choke. Right here, he's trying to pressure for a knee cut pass, but I have my shin on his shin preventing that, and I use that to set up to get the sweep. 
Right here I slide in for the leg drag, but since it's no gi, I decide to slide all the way through for dope mount and then step over into full mount. Here he's able to pummel his top arm in between my hips and use that to stand up. Here as I go for an arm drag he pulls back allowing me to support my weight and get behind him and I then throw in my left leg for the hook. I gable grip on his shoulder to support my weight which allows me to throw my other hook in for the full back mount. He rolls to his butt to try to shake me but since I already have the underhook I just push off on his head and go for the arm bar. Here I step in to see what he does. He tries to invert underneath me going for some sort of deep half attack but I'm able to pull my top leg out and then step across and step around to get out of the scramble. I step in again and he tries to go for the same attack. Here he tries to sweep me but I'm able to switch my hips over going into dope mount and then step over into full mount. Here he exposes his back so I try to set in to take it but he's able to get under my hips again, preventing it. And here I step back throwing my hooks in, but then decide to bail on it. Here I try to sweep him with an arm drag, but he underhooks my hip, allowing me to clamp down on the triangle. As he rolls away, I turn to my belly and push him to the mounted triangle to get the tap. My next round was with my man Steven, he's in nursing school right now and has been doing jujitsu for a few years. Here he goes for a guillotine, I defend that by shooting straight into his single leg. I then smash his hips to one side and step over into side control. Here he turns into me and I shoot through for a darts choke, but unfortunately we rolled out of frame. Right here he tries to smash pass, but I'm able to use my overhook to sweep him directly into mount. Right here, as he exposes his back, I try to attack a swim armbar, but unfortunately we roll out of frame again. And here I use the collar and wrist grip to pull him into a triangle choke. Here he attacks a single leg, so I reach over his back for the Kimura, which I use to sweep him. I then switch my hips to get on top and then go for the finish from the north-south. My last round was with my buddy Corbin. He's been training for a long time and has really good technical wrestling. Here I come up on an ankle pick, but he's able to roll and scramble out of it. Here I go back to the ankle pick and circle to complete it. I then isolate his left leg to attempt a leg drag, but he's able to scramble to his knees. I then sit in to try to take his back, but he's doing a good job of fighting off my hooks. So I bail on taking his back and attempt to flatten him out, but that allows him enough space to retain guard. Here I stack his hips and am able to get past his legs long enough to put my weight on him to pass the guard. He counters by hipping out and grabbing my hip, which prevents me from putting any pressure on him. He then switches to try to funk roll me, so I step through out of the scramble and attempt a knee bar. I dive in for the finish, but he's able to roll his knee to change the angle, so I bring his ankle across my body and then finish with a straight ankle. Here off a failed takedown attempt, he circles past and almost passes my guard with a smash pass, but I throw my leg across and create enough space to retain guard. Then he goes for a baby wipe pass, I snatch his head for the front headlock and I'm able to use that to get out from underneath him and circle to his back. And since he has good back defense, I step back pulling him to the ground and put myself in side control. Here he hips in hard and flattens his hips out, but I'm able to step around and this time sink both my back hooks in. He gets up to his feet to try to shake me off. To counter I wrap up a Kimura grip forcing him to roll to his back. I switch off to the body triangle to solidify the position even more. 
He switches sides, making me break my body lock, and then has enough space to shrimp out of my back control. I follow him back to his feet, and then try to put him back down, and try to take his back. Out of a scramble, he grabs my leg. I fall behind him, trying to counter it, and end up in a decent armbar attempt. I roll through trying to finish it, but here he sets up and pulls off one of the gnarliest armbar defenses I've seen in a minute. He rolls through again, trying to escape it. The whole time I'm keeping pressure on his arm, he manages to throw his leg over, creating enough space to get out of it. While he's attacking with a knee bar attempt, the timer goes off. What a sequence to end on. What's up guys? Solid class. Worked some smash passes. It's always important to get some good solid drilling in. Even if you think your technique is the bomb, there's always some holes that some good technical drilling can help take out of it. And then also we got some pretty solid rounds in. So overall, pretty good class. If you guys would like to see more training vlogs like this one, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys for hanging out today. Be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Also consider subscribing to the channel. I post a new video every Friday, anything from jujitsu tutorials. We break down dope moves that are gonna help you get more results on the mats. I'm gonna head out of here guys, but remember, stay hungry, stay blessed, above all, stay consistent. Talk to you guys next week. Like I'm so athletic, I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go 